back to my channel. My name is Jill. This is Fiber Floozy Crafts, and I am Fiber Floozy. Oh my goodness. Somebody had a birthday. Yes. So I've had back here in my room two or three packages that I got for myself for my birthday. <laughs> I've had a wonderful, wonderful birthday. I just want you to know that I appreciate everyone who has given me uh, comments on Facebook and in Messenger and on YouTube. And oh my goodness, I got serenaded by Joe. That's uh, Joe and Dana from Creatively Created Crochet. Uh, I hit the 1000K this week also. That happened while I was in Jeanette's live. That was DOY Creations. I was in her live and I hit my 1K. Um, I got word from the guy that's going to move my shed, my she shed out here. That's going to happen this Friday, hopefully. Uh, my daughter was here and we had a great visit. Um, we went down to the gravel pit and we got to shoot our guns and we got to uh, go for a little I got to go for a little swim yeah I'll talk about that in a minute so anyway it's been a wonderful week and I couldn't be happier to do all of these things right in this week but I was a little overwhelmed I took the day yesterday and didn't record anything so I've got some videos coming out, and I hope you guys are enjoying this. So, um, yeah, you want to see what I got? <laughs> okay, so in this video, just so you will stay tuned and you know what's coming, I have something from K.O. Yarns. I have some Chai Goo. I have some Happy Planner. And I have my first Ice Yarns order. So grab your cup and let's let's see what I got because I haven't opened anything yet except for the chai goo. So we'll start with that, okay? So I have been wanting to get a set of these for some time now. As you know, I am both a crocheter and a knitter. And if I didn't say so, welcome to all those new subscribers for having hit the 1K. I'm so glad you're here and I really hope you will stay. So I got this set of chai goos and these are knitting needles and this particular set I bought from Amazon and I will do my best to link that down below because I checked around I checked prices and they were all over they were like $175 or more and in the UK and Canada they were telling me they're over 200 so this set if I'm not mistaken was about 125 so it's a really it's a really good deal so I will try to link it below if there's any left I will try to link it so this is the Chai Goose and this is the Chai Goo twist and spin interchangeables that's what they're called this is a little deal that's inside of them. I just wanted to show you this. The twist and spin. It comes with all these pieces and parts, and they tell you how to do it. It comes with these red lace. This is the cords. And I got this set, which came with five inch needles from size 2 to 15 and it has see it has the little places that is all they're all listed yeah and in the front pocket There was a needle guide, 
Chaiku Needle Guide. There is a set of stitch markers and there I've never seen anything like this. These are really cool. They have like a I'm going to have to take a couple out of the bag for you. See these? You see that? They're clear. Let me take one of the bigger ones out so you can see it. My hands do not work properly most of the time. <laughs> I know some of you can relate to that. So it's a little clear one, see? They get, sorry, my hands are bad. Um, I've just never seen any like this before. These are really, really cool. So you have all different sizes. You have some smaller, some bigger, which is great for the different size needles. And then it came with these, which are stoppers. You've got some stoppers in here. See, they screw into the end. There's two sets of those. There's those little um, pins for the, there's the pin for tightening, there's the pins for the putting the cords together. I'm so excited. I have wanted chai glue since I started knitting, since I learned what they actually were. And I don't have anything on the hook right now, on the needle right now. I don't have anything put on those yet. I'm still looking for the right thing to put on there. I think it's going to be a new project that I'm going to be talking about in another video. So you get the large and the small cables, 14 inch, 22 inch, 30 inch, 35 centimeter, 55 centimeter, and 75 centimeter. And I guess that each one of them looking at them see has a different size connector. So your large and your small connector. So I'm really excited to get started using those. It's gonna be fun. All right, now the KO yarns. KO stands for Kristen Omdahl. Kristen Omdahl has her own line of yarn. And I follow her on here on YouTube. I have a couple of her books. And I wanted to get some of her yarn. And some of them were on sale. So when I joined the, her community and got get on got on to the newsletters, then she sent me um, one the other day that said that she had some of them on sale. And that was... Uh, the Be So Baby was on sale for 30% off. So these were $3.99. I don't know if they're still on sale. You'll have to go check. Oh, my goodness. I saw a Karen, a yarn addict. Karen, uh, she had got some of this the other day. She was talking about how incredibly soft it is. Karen, girl, you were not kidding. Holy moly. Like a baby's bottom. I normally wouldn't put baby's bottom right here like that. But if I did, that's what it feel like. <laughs> so this is the KO Be So Baby. This one is, the Be So Baby is their DK weight, okay? And this is a, a crew. And then I got it in... Dark Sage. Now, one of the neat things about this one is that part of the purchase of this yarn goes to Project Kristen Cares. So if you go and check on her website, and I'll leave her website down below so you can go check it out. Uh, part of the proceeds of this goes to the Project Karen Cares. Kristen Cares, sorry. So this is a milk yarn. So it's made from 100% casein milk fiber. 
it is 1.75 ounces or 50 grams at 142 yards or 130 meters. DK light weight three. Suggested gauge would be a four or a 3.5 millimeter hook and a five or a 3.75 millimeter knitting needle. So anywhere, it says any on here, anywhere between a four and an eight hook. So E to an H, 3.5 to 5.5 millimeter and knitting needle 3.75 millimeter to a five millimeter or a US five to eight. Okay, and it even has a birthday. This one was born in February. How cool is that? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I got a crew. I got dark sage. Aquamarine. Coral. And Mardi Gras. Very pretty. That's the Be So Baby. Super pretty. Love them. Man, those feel good. Oh my goodness. Okay, then I was in the live. And I saw these, and I am not normally one for gold, but this is limited edition gold, and these are, oh wow, they each came in a gauze bag with her, she sell, She came up with the, um, the, it's called Rapture, and it is the liquid to wash your projects in. But there's three bags here. They're, each one is individually wrapped in these gauze bags. And each one has a package of the Rapture sample. This one is Topaz. is very, it's gold, but it's not just gold. I don't know how to explain that color. It's very pretty. And then I got, this is called Jaded Peacock. Now this is looking Okay, is that better? It's a dark sagey color. It is a jade. But look at that gold in there. Oh, so pretty. Let me take those out. And the third one I got is called Chantilly Lace, I think. These are already caked, by the way. I want to say that you could, I want to say that you chose whether you wanted it caked or not, but I don't remember. Here is Chantilly Lace. Chantilly Lace and a pretty face and a ponytail hanging down, wiggling along and giggling along. Makes the world go rare. Ain't nothing in the world like a big eye girl like me. Act so fun. Spend my money. Like a long neck goose. Ooh, baby, that's a what I like. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Those are gonna be so pretty together. She was showing these on her on her live. Aren't they gonna be pretty together?
And of course, she says, thank you, Kristen Ando. Love it. I saved these, by the way. I want to know how much I paid for the yarn. You know, I'm doing inventory and all that stuff. So cool. That's pretty stuff. Very pretty stuff. Okay. Now, I know not everybody is into the planner stuff. So I'll save that for after a while. We'll go ahead and start the ice yarn now. So, be right back. Okay, you ready to open the ice bag? Now, if you do not know, you must not follow Krista from the Secret Yarnery. <laughs> this is my ice yarn bag. Oh, yeah. So she had been doing the, you know, where you follow her in her, around her uh, yarnery, and she was showing us her yarn on her wall. So I was taking notes. <laughs> so I wanted to decide which ones I wanted to get. So I took notes, and... I had the website open at the same time. I see something pretty in there. So you kind of have to be a little bit careful when you open these. So you don't cut the bags because they're big bags. They come in yarn packs. Now, I have had a few ice yarns that I have gotten through, oh, 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 uh, <laughs> through um, that yarn carousel swap I got some, and I found some somewhere, and I've even given a little bit away. Oh, look at that one. Okay, let's start with this one. It's right on top. This is Softly Baby Light Beige, and here's the number. Okay, let's see what it feels like. Oh yeah, that's nice. Fifty percent acrylic, fifty percent polyamide. This is a DK weight light three. It's called Softly Baby. You would use a four millimeter knitting needle or a US six. It's a hundred grams, two hundred and ten meters. And it is really nice. Light beige is this one. That's pretty. It's almost got like a teeny little pink cast to it. Okay, then we've got Softly Baby and Softly Baby Gray. There's the number. Very pretty. That one broke over just a little bit. And this stuff feels really good. I really like this one. And it is a nice weight. This is a DK, definitely a DK. Maybe a plump DK also, so, like a light worsted possibly. We'll see when I do a stitch gauge for it. That is the light gray. It's almost got like a 
silver gray to it. If you're ordering this, this looks kind of a silvery color. Now we've got Mohair Magic Glitz Camel Salmon Teal Light Blue. Okay, and I have a theory on these color names, and I've not heard anybody talk about this yet, or maybe y'all have and I just haven't heard it. But what I think, when they write these names, camel, salmon, teal, light blue, I think it's the order in which they come out of the scheme. That they always go into that order. So whether they start with one and end with another or whatever, that's the order that they're in. Can't prove that yet, but I'll let you know. So this one has mohair in it. This one is scrumptious, but I like wool. Mohair Magic Glitz. It is a number two sport weight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet it's going to be because it's going to bloom just a little bit, which means it's going to expand just a little bit when you work with it. Look how pretty that is, though. Now, this is 20% mohair, 20% wool, 57% acrylic, premium acrylic, 3% metallic Uber X, and this is gold. Don't be saying I've not really been a fan of the gold, but these are pretty. These are all made in Turkey. Does it say? 100 grams, 540 meters. They suggest using a US 3 to 6, 3 to 4 millimeter. Very pretty. And you can see how it comes out. And I got a couple of these, I think. This one is magic, reg, the regular magic glitz, turquoise. Love it. Now let's see what this one feels like. It's not as soft as the mohair one, but it's not, also doesn't have the halo, and it is in silver. And I just, this is so me right here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So the regular Magic Glitz is also, a, it's a three weight. So the mohair one is a two weight. The Magic Glitz regular is a three weight. 100 grams, 360 meters, 95% acrylic, 5% lurex, and this one says a US 6.7 or 4 to 4.5 millimeter. I like that too. feels really good. It's really nice and soft and it's really pretty. That, that's a lot of meterage. Very nice.
this is the jeans wool. This is green shades. I'm really trying to hold that still. This is very well. That's very nice. That feels like a merino. So it's 50% wool and 50% premium acrylic. It feels like a merino. It feels like superwash, but it's not. And it does have a little bit of a halo, just a little bit of a fuzz. Okay, this one, it's got a different kind of a tag on it. Wool Comfort Super Fine. That is not what this is. See that? You can't see that underneath there? Well, it's just strange. There's like a shadow underneath it. Let me get one more out. It's under this too. They've got another name underneath it called Wool Comfort Super Fine. So they have renamed this yarn. So this is the Jeans Wool 5 millimeter or US 8. It's a medium number 4, 100 grams, 210 meters. Green shades. Very pretty. There's a lot of leafy colors in here. Real pretty. Okay, here's the jeans wool. Now this one says it on it and it doesn't have that other underneath. So maybe I will give you better specs on this one. This is the Jeans Wool Beige and Gray Shades. So it goes from lighter to darker gray. This is, this is nice stuff. This is really, really nice stuff. So you can see this a little bit better without that background on it. Number four, 100 grams, 210 meters, 50 wool, 50 acrylic. That's really nice, I like that color too. another one. I was pretty sure I was going to like that one, wasn't I? Wow. This is the lilac and beige. Same specs. Super pretty. That's the jeans wool again. Same specs. That's really pretty. It's almost got like a blue. This looks like faded jeans here. Like, like really faded jeans. Can y'all see that? Showing up really kind of. that's better. It's really pretty. I like that color a lot. I like the gray. I like the green too. 
a little out of my comfort zone with the, those leafy colors, but I really like it. Sorry, they don't want to stay together. Another glitz. This is another of the mohair magic glitz. This one is doesn't have a name on it. Let's see if it's inside. Oh wow, those blues are pretty. Twenty percent mohair, fifty-seven percent wool. Twenty percent wool, fifty-seven percent acrylic, and three percent borax. This doesn't say the color, but I want to say it was just called blue shades. Lots of blue light to dark to navy. Very pretty. That was nice too. I finally got some magic glitz. <laughs> this is what I've been wanting from ice with the magic glitz. So happy to have that. Okay, there's a couple more in here. This is the cotton Pastel, light green, blue shades, cream shades. Making sure you're still with me. So this is another one that's kind of like denim, and this is the little the little balls of ice yarn, cotton pastel, this is a four weight, and it's got like a, like a, it's not chain spun. It's just got a deal wrapped around it. Seventy-seven percent cotton, twenty-three percent acrylic, fifty grams, seventy meters. They recommend a four or five, four to five millimeter, or a US six to eight. This one feels really good too. Got a silky feel to it. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna like that a lot. As a cotton, I really like that. And last but not least, this is the hand dyed sock yarn. And that's the number. Now you're going to ask me prices on these and I don't know. Wow, that's nice. Okay, so this is the hand dyed sock yarn. It's a number one. 100 grams, 400 meters, 75% superwash wool and 25% polyamide or nylon. And I got the one that was kind of a coral. And there's four. I've been telling you how many are in those packs. There's four in here. Wow. 
if I can figure out the prices when I edit this video, I'll be putting them at the bottom. So I know you try, if I did that, then you guys have already seen it. That's gorgeous. Okay, so there is a slip here. Kind of tucked inside with a little bag. Well, it's a little bag. It's a little ice yarns bag. It's plastic. But that was nice of them anyway. It is got some reinforced handle. Thanks, ice yarns. <laughs> so that is my ice yarns haul. And again, if I can figure out the names of everything, I'll put all of it down below. Ooh, there's a pack and slip. This was, I paid $53.95 to, to ship it. So I'm not going to sit here and read all this to you. I'll get this out of here and then I'll figure it all out and I'll put it at the bottom. But let's see if y'all can see. Hold on. There's my stack from Ice Yarns. Okay, hold on. Make sure I got you guys. Point it down a little bit. There we go. Okay, now the other day for Mother's Day, so this one is kind of like a Mother's Day and birthday and everything. Um, Happy Planner was having, no, it was Mother's Day. I think it was Memorial Day. They were having a sale. So, if you are not interested in the Happy Planner stuff and you are ducking out, I really want to say thank you. I appreciate every single one of you. And know that I watch and I read your comments. And I always give you a heart. Even if I cannot comment, I will give you a heart. So you will know that I saw your comment. So, thank you for coming. And I will see you soon. Oh, okay. Look at all of these goodies. Now, I will do a proper planner video. So, I'm just going to run through this as I open it and uh, show y'all what I got and then will be done okay because I know the people who really are into it would like to see a better uh, video than what I'm going to do here so I did get some note paper this is the Ron Ron note paper with the girls this is for that classic happy planner it has gold at the top and the girls down at the bottom those are the Ron Ron artists. Uh, that's a thing they were doing. I think they're kind of phasing out of those now. I don't know if they're going to do a new uh, re-up on those. But they've, been, had, they've had several of them. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. I'm looking ahead. <laughs> okay. Now, the sticker books I got three of the sticker pads. This one is the Ron Rong. I don't know if they say on here what this one is. And I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But this is the Ron Rong Brights. Then I got the Farmhouse sticker pad. 
and I got the colorful boxes because I use a lot of these, the colorful boxes. These have like 30 to 50 pieces in each of them. And then the sticker books that I got, I was going, this is the detailed florals. Rainbow. Colorful boxes. This is the large. I have one, but I use a lot of them. And I think that's a newer one. They usually say at the bottom, this is from 18, 2018. I got Free Spirit. Cool to be kind. I think this was a new one this this spring. I believe this was yeah 19. That was too new for spring. And then this colorful life. And finally got one of the big color books. It splits in half like that. And it's the I Love Sticker Book. There's a hundred sheets. And I'm not sure if it says 3,888 pieces. And everything on the site that day when I ordered was 30% off. So that's what I got from Happy Planner. And my other birthday goodies, and there's been some other things. Um, I ordered, hubby and I have been watching the Star Wars movies from the beginning all the way to the end um, in order that they are supposed to be like where they take place in the timeline. And so I ordered Rogue One because we couldn't find that on Prime or Netflix or any of that. And we watched that last night and had pizza and got to spend time. And then, like I said, I hung out with Dana from Creatively Crochet. Oh, my getting wet story. So what had happened was my dog, the older dog, her back legs bless her heart, she is getting weak because she has hip dysplasia. She is one of the breeds that has the hip dysplasia. And she gets down in the water, but when she gets up, gets to, she takes, she walks down there, which takes a lot of her effort to get down there. And then when she gets in the water to get, before she gets out, she's She's exhausted, so she has a really hard time getting out of the water. So I was watching to see what was going to happen, and yep, she couldn't get out. So I had to go in and get her. Well, I have to um, step down in and get close to the edge and get my feet down in because we call her and she starts to come out. Well, as soon as you get close to her, she goes back in. So it's like, okay. Got her to come up to me, got her close to me, and pulled her up on top of me. Now I'm sopping wet. She's laying wet dog on top of me. I put her, her front feet here, and I'm grabbing her back end up and putting her up over onto the shore where my hubby is to help get her the rest of the way out because she she's part Great Pyrenees and they do not, they're very, a very unassuming breed. They don't want to upset you. They don't want to put you out. They're just very, very unassuming. So whenever I hand her a treat, she just, you know, barely takes it from you. They'll never grab it. And they're very gentle. They're 
they're just really um, intuitive and she's just she is 15 years old so she's yeah bless her heart but she's just still going just keep on trucking I want to be like her <laughs> just keep on going I hope you enjoyed this video I hope that you will go and check out some of my other videos now that you are here um, the Christmas in July fairy video is out I have some review videos out. I have more review videos coming. I have the tutorials coming for the book that I'm doing. Um, the book as in the book cover. So, yeah. And I have a giveaway for my 1000K. Go check that out. And I will see you guys. Please go see some of the other channels. Please check out their content, not just their video for the giveaways. And, um, I appreciate everybody and have fun today. See ya. Happy birthday to me. Bye, y'all.